Well, good evening, guys. Uh, I'm really proud of the guys. I thought we played really well. Uh, it was really important that we had a fast start and uh, challenge the guys this afternoon uh, to have a fast start and, and to be on point. And, um, you know, we were going to be able to try to run the football. We had to be able to run the football to set up all the other stuff. And I was so pleased with our offensive line. Our offensive line really dominated the football game. Uh, being able to take it, and that's what we'd like to be able to do. I mean, it was a seven, eight minute drive for a touchdown. Uh, to start us off, and then A.J. Parker makes a, a big-time play and uh, gets us a short field, and, and then it kind of snowballed on him a little bit and got a good lead. That's a good football team we, we beat today. Got a tremendous amount of respect for uh, Nichols, and, and uh, they're going to do some good things this year. I thought they did a great job of, of jumping out on us in the second half. They took the momentum back from us, and, uh, and then our guys settled in and, and uh, played a really good second half. And, um, you know, a lot of good things we saw. Uh, but uh, I challenge our guys in there, you know, let's not be complacent. Let's not uh, get too excited about just one. We've got to continue to stack great days on top of great days this next week uh, and get ready for our next opportunity. But uh, excited for the guys and excited for our staff to, um, you know, get this first one started. It was a lot of nervous energy and nobody knows where they're supposed to be on pregame and stuff. I mean, this, this first week was kind of a, uh, a circus and, and I'm glad it's over. Uh, great performance. He's a stud. He's a winner. Um, and uh, I was so pleased with how he commanded the offense, uh, how poised he was. You know, he'd get flushed out of the pocket and, and, and throw strikes. Uh, didn't get fr uh, frustrated when we had a couple balls I think maybe could have been caught. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you, that, that kid's got that it factor. And uh, so excited for him to be able to have that kind of performance in, in leading our team. It's over, <laughs> you know, uh, the week, uh, just, just everything, I, just how the guys attacked the preparation, how the guys attacked each day. You know, we, you can't win a game on, on Monday. You got to stack Monday on top of Tuesday and continue on. But I'm just, I'm pleased. I knew they were ready to play, but to be able to be ready to play, but still detail your work and detail your plan and make sure that uh, uh, you finish on plays and stuff was really, really fun for me to see. I was really pleased that we were able to get uh, a lot of guys carries um, and you run them behind that offensive line that uh, was blowing holes open and, and doing a great job. But I was so glad that's that's what we'd like to see, you know, to be able to have three and four guys get multiple carries, keeps guys fresh, uh, keeps guys engaged. Uh, I was really pleased with all of them. I mean, there's uh, James made some big time runs on some third and shorts and uh, Harry bounced off and made some plays and, and Jordan. Uh, I know he ran the ball well, but he made an unbelievable catch on, the, on a wheel route down the sideline. Just those are things that uh, will make our offense so much better. And then uh, just because of the versatility. And then I thought Tyler finished the game and uh, ran really hard. So we're going to need everybody. And so it was great to get all those guys snaps. Defensively, what were you most happy with tonight? Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, we swarmed to the football. Uh, we had the big turnover. Uh, we were able to get pressure on the passer. The kid's a good quarterback. Wide receiver's a great player. And uh, he made some plays, um, but uh, you know I just w was pleased over. I give up 14 points, and and um, you know the last seven uh, they did some good things against uh, some of our younger players. Um, but I was just I was just pleased at the effort and the fact there weren't any mental mistakes. You know they made some plays, and offense is always going to do that. But I didn't think we made any mental errors. You mentioned playing a number of running backs, but really across the board, it seemed like you got a lot of guys in. Did you feel happy with how many? Players? Yeah, I was really pleased that we were able to get the last defensive touchdown allowed us to just substitute everybody. Um, and so we were able to get all the offensive linemen in, took all those guys out, tight ends, fullbacks, all the backs, you know, played two, two quarterbacks in the fourth quarter. We wanted to do that. And then defensively, um, we had to shift some guys around um, to get everybody uh, out of the game. So we had some guys out of position on the last drive playing a little different spots. But uh, uh, great, great opportunity for guys to get some experience, and then we can, you know, evaluate the film and let them know where they're at. Without looking at film, can you get into any specifics as to how the offensive line played? Just from the naked eye, I, I thought it was really good. I, I, I know one thing, and I'm standing at the line of scrimmage, and it's moving the other, the other direction, and they have some pretty good defensive linemen, and, and uh, they're going to win a lot of games, and, and they played hard, I thought, and I just thought, especially once we. 
you know, start establishing some of our power stuff, so some of our gap scheme. And, and you know, the one touchdown that, that James had, uh, we had a, uh, uh, a pass play called, and that's the sign of growth I saw from Skyler is he, didn't, he saw a pressure, didn't panic, got us into a check for us to run the football against that pressure. And uh, that, that showed me an awful lot about where he's, where he's taking his game and understanding our system and, and James was able to pop it. So I thought our O-line played really well. Just how eager or ready did you sense Skyler was to get out there and play after all the build-up? Obviously he was, they all were. You know, it just when you, when you have that many practices and we have three weeks of camp, uh, um, and then you had, you know, we worked on Nichols for two weeks, and I'm glad we worked on Nichols for two weeks because they did a lot of different things defensively, you know, from three down to four down to under to Oki, did all these different fronts that uh, I thought um, Skyler played really well and was calm of coming over and saying, here's what I'm seeing, and uh, I, I thought uh, he managed the game really well. You talked about all that nervous energy, but with two penalties, no turnovers, I mean, you have to be pleased with the discipline. Yeah, uh, really pleased um, to not turn the football over. Obviously, when, when we got the, the one turnover, that was a, a big momentum uh, deal for us. And yeah, we talked about being able to not turn the ball over and play a clean game. And, and I thought we were able to do that. And uh, I know the one penalty, they, they had us on the, a, a chop block downfield. And I thought it was a good call, um, just looking at the film or looking at the replay. Uh, but really pleased with how clean a game and for a first game. You know, I, I still think we can always be a better tackling football team, just leverage angles and stuff like that. You know, um, maybe guys over anxious and, and over pursuing sometimes rather than running through their leverage. Uh, that would be one thing I, I would say that we'll continue to work on. But in the same respect, when guys are running to the football, you, you can kind of eliminate some of those explosive plays. Yeah, um, no, we'll be able to evaluate uh, enough off of what we saw because, you know, there was the whole first half, there were some critical plays, and, and I thought we, we missed some assignments. We, they ran a really nice little rub route, snag route on a third down that uh, they got a pretty good gain off of that. I think those things will help us. We need to continue to, to learn from the film, uh, but we need to continue to improve. Uh, on a daily basis of us going against our offense some and that's something that you got to have a fine line of do you do all scout team work and stuff we still need to go k-state versus k-state good on good so that uh, um, we get we can challenge each other especially on the outside with wideouts and corners coach with so many moving parts uh, in this offense especially tonight so many guys coming in how important was it especially for these these running backs coming in three run, transfer running backs yeah. to establish some sort of rhythm for themselves um, at least in yeah, I thought Coach Anderson, B.A., did a great job of, of mixing in and getting them in uh, by series. And then a kid would get two or three carries in a row. Uh, but also getting a guy in like we wanted Jordan in on the wheel route because we think he's got really good hands. Uh, and and all, the, uh, all those kids, you get, you're right, you have three transfers there, all really unselfish guys. And all... Uh, playing for the name on the front of the jersey, not the name on the back of the jersey. And it was really important for those guys to, you know, see each other have success. And, and they know, we told every one of them, this is how we do things. And, you know, it's, it's the amount of touches is one thing, but it's the quality of touches and, and the fact that we're going to keep you fresh. A couple guys that seem to make plays defensively, Jerron McPherson at, at safety, and also Jonathan Alexander that played at the head. Just your thoughts on what they did? Yeah, I thought J-Mac played really well. Uh, just seeing some plays running through some contacts up. I didn't see the, the Jonathan play. I didn't see it on, on video, uh, but uh, I don't know if he stripped it as well as I know he took it in for, for a score, but uh, Jonathan has the big play capabilities. You know, he's a long athletic safety that can really run and, uh, and he's an aggressive guy. And, and so we rotated he and Wayne and Denzel uh, for the most part, but to your guys' point, 41 snaps. I don't know how many snaps you're going to play, um, but uh, we're excited about where Jonathan's at. We've got to continue that rotation. Well, I think the routine will help us now that we're in school. We had a normal routine last week. We'll get back to that routine. The guys know now, here's what practice is going to be. 
Here's what it's going to be on Monday. Here's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Here's the pregame routine. That's what we need to get into a rhythm of. And um, I, I'm excited because the guys know it now. To Thursday, Friday this week, you know, they didn't they didn't know the routine. You know, everybody was kind of like, I think I know the routine, but uh, I think we're pretty locked in. And that's that's football. It's, it, the more successful you are, you just get into a routine, and the guys feel good about the routine, and they know what to expect. And um, so I, I think this is another big week. You know, we we made really good strides today. Make no bones about it. I was excited about what I saw, but let's not fall in love with ourselves. We won one football game, and we've got a bunch left, and and we've got Bowling Green that that we don't know much about, new staff and stuff, and, and we've got to have great preparation uh, to be able to have success on Saturday. You've been asked a lot what this would feel like for you now that the game is over. Uh, what was it like for you personally? You know. Um, it's exciting. I, 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 I'm a competitor by nature, and it's fun to fun to win. But it was just so. I, I was more excited to see the guys having fun and see the excitement of the guys. You know, our, our our sideline was lively. Our locker room was was lively. They were loose before the game, and um, I, I was excited for for those guys. I, I was excited for our staff and um, me personally. You know, uh, I, I'm blessed to have uh, Gene as my boss and give me the opportunity to be here. Uh, but we're going to all do this together. It's We're never going to be a, this is about Chris, because I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, time for two more. Uh, you mentioned just how pleased you were with how locked in your team was. I didn't know if at all, did you address with them just how tough a few of the games earlier for the Big 12 teams were with James Madison playing, uh, West Virginia so close, KU needing a late kind of touchdown, and of course, I don't know if the guys knew it. I knew it, yeah. but it goes back to all the conversations that we've had in the media in here. I don't think there's a big difference, guys. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I thought South Dakota State was a better team and should have beaten Minnesota. I thought Northern Iowa was a better team and could have beaten Iowa State. You know, I, I didn't see what happened on the KU Indiana State, but a tight ball game, guys. If, if you've got a culture of winning and a culture of belief and a, and a, and a culture of guys always think they have an opportunity you you better put your best foot forward on Saturday I don't care who you're playing when you're playing or you're going to get beat and uh, I I hit on that on Monday with the guys about nickel state that quarterback's a a really good football player and once we got through of this is Nick now we focused on okay guys here's a task at hand we've got to make sure and be ready to play with our game plans but the level of play is not as big a difference as some people might want to think Yeah, it's really, really great to, for all those guys. You know, when even when um, when Tyler Burns got in the end zone, man, all those guys ran up to Tyler and were so excited for him. They were excited for John when he was carrying the ball and making some plays. And that's that's fun to see the guys excited for each other. This game's about playing for the guy next to you, about playing for your brother. And uh, if we continue to do that, continue uh, to be a close knit group of guys, um, continue. Continue to challenge each other. Continue to love each other. If we continue to do that, we can do some really good things. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks.